What's up, everybody? My name is Rob Savage, and we're here again with another episode of 600 Seconds with Hollow Art. And today's guest we have... Panessa Young. Y'all give it up for Panessa Young. Thank you. Got a lot of support in here tonight. I feel blessed. <laughs> yeah. That's my family out here. Okay, hey, fam. <laughs> my satin doll family. My sister and my husband over there. Okay. My satin doll sisters. They always support me. Oh, that's, that's wonderful yes. then. That's good. So um, why don't you let the people know what it is that you do? Well, I'm an R&B singer, songwriter. I've been doing this for a while, and this is something that I love because I've always had passion for music. Um, my parents, they played so many songs, you know, that really influenced my musical work of what I love to do. And so it stuck with me even when I graduated out of high school. I wanted to continue on doing it because this is something that really, like, I think it grabs attention. Um, people, they can relate to songs that you write about. People going through so many different situations. We got the pandemic out here going on, so I've written a song about that called Let Me Live. So I pretty much, I mean, I can relate to so many things. So it's pretty much, it's, it's fun. I love it. Okay, yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Um, who are some of your biggest, inspira no, biggest inspirations in this? One of my biggest inspirations was Whitney Houston. Whitney Houston. I Rest love all of her songs, and her, yeah. her voice yeah. is super powerful. Um, Mary J. Blige is next. Yeah, yeah. I love the Queen <laughs> R&B soul, so it's pretty much like so many artists out there really grab my attention to push forward and continue on with what I love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where does the name China Doll come from? China Doll, it was, somebody said I looked like a doll baby one day, so. <laughs> it was kind of weird. So they was like, I'm gonna call you China Doll. So they said something about my eyes being slanted, so mm -hmm. I just stuck with it, just made it my IG name. Yeah, yeah, no offense to anybody out there, but yeah, yeah, I got you. I'll just. <laughs> uh, what, um, tell us about the song Thug Love. Well, I came up with Thug Love. Um, it was, I'll say it was a friend of mine. She was talking about the different type of guys that she liked mm -hmm. to date. So she said, I love thugs. So <laughs> I thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to write a song. And actually, the beat that I got, uh, it also inspired certain lyrics. See, sometimes certain beats grab mm -hmm. the attention for certain lyrics. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you I thought about it. I just started singing Thug Love. I was like, I was like, I'm loving that thug love. So I started singing it with the beat, and it sounded good. So mm -hmm. I stuck with it. Yeah. And that's how I came up with it. Yeah, no, those are the best songs that kind of come organic. Yeah, it was just, like I yeah. just, out the blue, just yeah. started coming up with it. So. Okay. Yeah, that's wonderful, yeah. man. Um, are we going to do a little bit of a word association? I'm going mm -hmm. to say a phrase or a word, and you just tell me what it means to you. OK. All right. First word is uh, Mary J. Blige. Soul. Queen of soul. Queen of soul. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the second one is official. Official? Well, I, I, I did a song called Official. Yeah. <laughs> I did a song <laughs> with a friend of mine, so I'm featured on that song. Okay. Yeah, so it's called Official. So mm -hmm. when, did that, when did that come out? Well, we it's already out on all musical platforms, mm -hmm. but we're working on a video. Okay. We're getting together with a video, so it's on all musical platforms. All right, official mm -hmm. now, out now on all musical platforms. Yes. Um, now we're going to ask a question from, we're going to have an audience member come up here and ask you a question. Okay. Y'all ready for that? <laughs> all right, so like I said, we're going to ask a question from the audience. Okay. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. Uh, can you tell us your name? It's Monica, a.k.a. Mo Money. Mo Money. That's my sister. That's a sister. That's my sister, yes. <laughs> yes you got a question for sister. us? Yep. Vanessa Young, you're doing the We Run the World show on July the 8th. Tell us about that and other upcoming events or projects. Yes, sis. 
And everyone, I am doing the We Run the World show coming up, and it's for a great cause for people who have been through domestic violence, who have survived domestic violence. And I was asked to perform, and I am so honored to be there to do that. So I couldn't turn it down. So it's for a great cause, and the proceeds is going out to Sister Care. So. Uh, I feel honored and I'm happy and I'm ready to do it. And I do, I will be doing some out of state shows coming up. And I will keep y'all posted. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank y'all so much. All right. Um, <clears throat> comedy or drama? Uh, I'd rather the comedy. <laughs> comedy? Okay. Um, what's your favorite comedy TV show or movie of all time? Let me see. I gotta say Friday. I'm Friday. sorry, Friday is, yeah. it sticks with me. Yeah. I, you remember everything with Friday and it's like every time you see it. It's, it's still funny. Yeah. It's crazy. That's yeah, why I love good. Friday. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what, about, <clears throat> what about TV show? TV show. Um, well, I was into like, well, you talking about as far as comedy? Whatever, whatever I still you look to. at Martin. Still Martin? I still look at Martin the little... Martin gets so much love on his show. There's something about Martin that just... It's the, it's the yeah, the time, and right? you look back, and he just... I mean, he is something else. He's yeah. super funny. Yeah, ahead of his time, man, because mm -hmm. it's, still, it's still watchable today. Yeah. Um, so I need you to give me a, a two-song playlist. Mm -hmm. A song to listen to in the daytime and a song to listen to at night. It could be your music. It could just be what you're listening to. Okay, uh, at nighttime, I have a song called Heartless that I came up with, and I just recorded the song like a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So I like that song a lot, so I'm okay. definitely doing a video for it. So I kind of listened to it to gravitate on some super uh, great visions for a video, because I'm doing a video for that one. Okay, okay. Yeah. You said that's for the daytime? Mm -mm, for, for the, the nighttime, nighttime. Okay. but the daytime, I'm gonna go to the daytime. Um, let me see, I kind of listen to uh, Seven Streeter. Seven Streeter, I like yeah. her songs, I got and I'll be looking at the videos for our choreograph mm -hmm. the choreography, the choreography and yeah. stuff because that's something I was thinking about getting into learning how to okay. do those different type of dances and stuff. So it's, I look at the video and I listen to the song because see the words. It does go along with uh, the vision of the videos mm -hmm. and how your movements and stuff. So yeah. I be paying attention to a lot of things with that. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Um, if you could collaborate with one other artist, mm -hmm. uh, they could be dead or alive. Who would that artist be? Uh, Whitney Houston. Whitney. She was my favorite. Yeah. I am not gonna lie, <laughs> she's my favorite artist. I think that would be, be an amazing song too. Yeah. Oh my God, I'll probably be crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can do it. Cause I'll be so happy to, yeah. you know, that she was right there, you know? Mm -hmm. And I thought she was like a phenomenal singer with the way she hold those notes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll fall out if it was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you feel like would be a big I made it moment? Like you feel like, man, I made it. The big I made it movement moment would be when I could say I could leave my job totally mm -hmm. and I don't have to worry about bills, yeah. you know, getting handled. I'm talking about the music would take care, music yeah. sales. Making a living off of, yeah, off of your dreams. Going yeah, going up like a skyrocket of sales where I wouldn't even have to go to the nine to five, you know. Yeah. That's when I would say I made it. Yeah, when yeah. I could say goodbye. Right. <laughs> I'm waiting on that too. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, Yeah, okay. What what advice do you have for, for others? Okay, so I gotta say this, even if it's not music and you have a dream or a goal that you want to accomplish, don't give up. Keep on going forward. Trust God, pray about it. Don't let nobody stop you from what you believe that you want to do. Because sometimes distractions will try to come and stop you from accomplishing your goals, but just keep going, keep on trying. 
And sometimes when one door closes, another one will open. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So always look at the positive. Yeah, and, and like if that. and if you even have to take a break from what you're doing just for a little while to get things together and come mm -hmm. back at it, but just don't totally give up. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love it, I love it. Um, why do you feel like people should follow and support you? Can you repeat that one more time? I'm sorry, why, why do you feel like people should follow and support you? Okay, well, I want to put out, I want to keep putting out a positive message. So I feel like with them following me, I'm going to keep making great music. Mm -hmm. So I, I make songs that I think people can relate to. So yes, I want them to support and listen because I have a message in my songs. Mm -hmm. And some people, they say, I've even been through what you song about. Yeah. I can relate to that. If somebody come to you and say, I felt your song, because mm -hmm. I've been through that. So that's basically saying, your song reached them, yeah. you know, and I support, you know, people. So why not, you know, why not get that love yeah, back? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, Absolutely. being real about it, you know, why not get that love back that you give out to others? Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, it's genuine, but it feels good to be supported, yeah, you know, absolutely. and that's how I feel about it. Well, let, let us know uh, how we can follow and support you. Well, you can definitely follow me on IG. Um, I'm ChinaDoll underscore one on IG. I will be doing a lot more than what I have been doing. I will be doing some out of state shows as well, and it will be recorded. I'll even be doing more live shows. I'll be doing some cover songs, because I know people do like cover songs. Because yeah. some people, you know, they love to hear what's familiar, what they're familiar with. So I'll do more cover songs. I'm also on Facebook. I'm Panassa Young on Facebook. So you can follow me on Facebook. I will be, like I said, once again, putting out more brand new music, live performances coming, more live performances where people can hear my raw voice without me always being in the studio, I don't have a problem with performing live where they hear me live and raw, you know, so. Okay. Do you have any final shout outs? Yes. I got to give a shout out to my satin doll sisters, my yeah. husband, Steve. Okay. Y'all give it up Cherokee, for the family. Yeah, family came to support And my yeah. family right here. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. And my husband, Steve Cherokee, uh, he's super supportive. Um, DJ Surplus, he's super supportive of my music. He always sharing my music and showing love to my music. Um, my parents, because they've told me to never give up. Keep going, don't stop. My kids, they always tell me to keep going to it, my daughter. So, you know, it's pretty much like I got so much love surrounded. I can't you stop, yeah, you know? You need it, you need it. <laughs> and I also, I also want to do, um, I'm going to do some gospel sometimes too. So, okay. Because yeah. we got to thank God. Got to. Yeah, he got number to. one. Got so, yeah. God number one. So, yeah. you know, so I'm just saying, but I'm going to keep on going because this is what I love. Well, thank you for your time. And I have one more question for you. Mm -hmm. Are you going to bless the stage with a performance tonight? Of course. Y'all, please give it up for Vanessa Young. I'm going to do it. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I love everybody. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Vanessa Young. You can follow me on Facebook. This is no about me. My song, no about me. Kill that shit, for Nelson. You know my song, say I'm no with me. All right? And say I don't know about you. Yeah. Right? Hey, come on. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just 